What's going on everybody? This is Charlie Eugene back with another video. Today I'm doing something a little different than I usually do on my videos. Usually I'm doing the how to upgrade RAM, how to swap out and upgrade SSDs and take parts off the motherboard and put them back in. But today I just want to review my overall experience with the Asus ZenBook Pro Flip OLED. This is the ZenBook Pro 15, excuse me, a ZenBook Pro 15 Flip OLED. This is the Q539 model. All right, so I just wanna, I've had this machine for a few weeks now, and I just wanna share with you guys my overall experience with it, the things I like about it, the things I don't like about it. We'll go over the internals, we'll go over the IO, and we'll go around it and look at it in this video. And I'm gonna try to keep this video about 10 minutes long, so I'm gonna speed up a little bit here. All right, so this is a two-in-one laptop. This is a flip laptop. You can flip this into tablet mode. Really nice, um, really nice feature there where you can flip this thing over and use it like a tablet. Screen looks really good. We're gonna open this thing up first. We're gonna do the um, one hand open up test. Make sure we can open this thing up one hand. Let's try that now. Yes, voila. It's possible to open this thing up with one hand. I like to do that with these laptops, test it, test them out. And uh, let's uh, start with the screen first, then we'll go around the cosmetics, the, the ins and outs on the left and right side, and we'll go in the internals keyboard. And then we'll go through just the things that I don't like about it. All right, so this is a 2.8K resolution, screen resolution, not quite 4K, but 2.8 is really high quality video uh high quality screen resolution excuse me uh looks very good very nice also this has a 120 hertz screen refresh so if you're into games you're into watching action movies with a lot of stuff going on it'll look really clear during those sequences and during those times in the movie with the 120. i'm not really a pc gamer i'm more of a console gamer so i can't really tell you guys how it performs with games but with the specs in this thing, I'm pretty sure you can game with it. I just don't know for sure because I don't game on PCs, but I'm confident they can do that. Um, let's moving on. So that's the screen resolution. This is a touch screen, obviously. So you can go into flip mode, into the tablet mode with this screen. Very nice screen. I love the colors. The colors pop out. I'll give Asus a 10 on the way the screen looks and the colors look. It looks very good. Like I said, it's only 2.8 but that's a lot better than full HD, right under 4K. Honestly, you really can't tell when you watch 4K movies on it, it looks really good. So that's the screen. I don't even really wanna get into the webcam, typical laptop webcam, 720, not the greatest, but can get you by for a Zoom meeting or you know some video calls, it can get, you can get by. But if you're into recording you know, your webcam footage, I would definitely recommend getting yourself external camera that's a lot better than the internal ones but that's to be expected with laptops the webcams are usually not the best even on the mac apple side even on the apple side webcams aren't really the best all right so let's go over uh i'm gonna go over the io and then i'll talk about the keyboard and touchpad so let's start with the right side of the the laptop i'm gonna close the uh, laptop and let's turn it to the right side and look at the io so starting at the top here this looks clear. You have your power adapter, so you can't, this does come with a power brick and you can charge your laptop with the, uh, the, the power port here. Then you have your ventilation ports. You have three ventilation ports right here for your hot air to escape. You have your 3.5 millimeter headphone jack here. Let me come a little bit closer, guys. Make sure you can see it really good. So you got your headphone jack there. Then you have two USB-C ports. These are Thunderbolt 4 ports. You can charge your laptop with these ports and you can send display out with these as well. So you got two of those USB-C ports, which is a great thing. Then you have your power button here and your little LED to let you know the status of the machine. And that's as far, that's the ports on the right side. So let's look at these ports again here. That's the right side ports, okay? Let's go to the left side. The left side, you have your 3.1 USB port. I think it's 3.1 USB port. You have a full HDMI port here. Then you have another um, vent here for hot air to escape. And then you have, let me bring this here. 
you have your micro SD slot there. All right. Go to the back. Back of the system, nice hinges. Asus always usually makes nice hinges. I'll give them that credit. They make nice hinges for their laptops. So you have two nice hinges here. In the middle, you have another area for your hot air to escape, another vent here. That's the back of the machine. The front, it's plain Jane, nothing going on in the front. It's a plain front here. And let's look at the back here. So the back also has, or the, or the bottom, excuse me, the bottom has vents here on the on the left side and on the right side for hot air to escape. Then this is pretty much the main uh, ventilation uh, area here for your hot air to escape there. And then what else is there? Um, that's pretty much it for the, the bottom. Of course, you got your four rubber feet here. To access this motherboard, you have screws around the bezel, all around the bezel. Let me, I'm out of frame here. You have screws all around the bezel here. Uh, I've seen this. You have to take off. I'm not sure which rubber feet you have to take off, but you have to take two of these rubber feet off to access additional screws to get this back plate off to access the motherboard. All right. Which I might do. I'm just a little worried about removing these rubber feet because every time you remove the rubber feet, you take off a lot of that uh, sticky adhesive uh, stuff and it never goes back on. Right. So I really I'm really debating whether or not I'm going to show you guys how to swap out the SSD. Anyway, you got um, at the front, you have your two speaker grills, your left and your right speaker grill here. And that's pretty much it for the cosmetics of this system. As you can see, this thing is a fingerprint magnet. And to get these fingerprints off, you have to dab your micro microfiber cloth in water to get these fingerprints off. That's one of the down things about this blue, this acerite blue color. It's a fingerprint magnet. And I try to Where's my microfiber? Try to wipe it down. It really doesn't really take the markings off. You kind of got to dab it in water, but that's whatever. That's to be expected. Um, at seven minutes, let's okay. So let's get into. Let me sit back down. I'm standing up here. Let me sit back down. So let's get into open this thing back up. Do the one hand test again. Open this nice bad boy up with one hand, which is a good thing. Excuse me. So let's get into the internals now since we kind of went over the I.O. And we went over the screen. Let's talk about the internals. So this is rocking the i7 10th. Oh, excuse me. It's 12th generation. Excuse me. So that's what one year, one year old now. I think right now we're on 13 generations of i7. So we're at one year old with this model. Um, this has 16 gigs of DDR5. Five, not DDR4, but DDR5, which is soldered. So you cannot remove the RAM and you cannot upgrade the RAM. Okay, so this model, the Intel model, comes with 16 gigs. I think there's no other configuration for this model. The AMD model, you can get 32 gigs. So if you're into gaming or you're into a lot of multitasking, you might want to think about going over to the AMD model that comes at 32 gigs of DDR5, which are both soldered. You cannot upgrade the RAM, okay? Moving on to the graphics, talk about the graphics. So this thing has a nice graphics card in here. It has two of them in here. It has the Intel Arc A370M graphics chip, and it has the Intel Iris XE graphics. So you got two graphics chips in this PC. The ARC is rocking four gigs of GDDR6. Four gigs of GDDR6 for the ARC. I don't game, so I'm not sure when that ARC is activated. I'm not a gamer. Maybe you guys are gamers and you know how to do that. But whatever graphics card it uses, it looks very, very, very good. So definitely capable of editing video in 4K, gaming on the system. Fast enough to do both of those things really well. OK, uh, like I said, we can talk about let's talk about the screen again. So this is a 15.6 inch display, 2.8 OLED 
and you have 120 hertz 550 nits so this thing is pretty bright looks very good then it's so all these different color profiles that you can do with this thing it's pretty pretty nice man the touch the touch is very act very responsive if you want to use that stylus um that what is it the asus pen stylus pen you can use that as well if you're an artist and you like to draw or write stuff you can use that i don't use it but i heard really good things about it all right so storage for this model it comes with one terabyte of uh solid state solid state drive storage you can swap out and upgrade the ssd which is a wonderful thing if you want to throw in a 2tb or a 3tb you can do it but i'm good at one terabyte that's plenty of storage for me okay let's talk about the keyboard that's the that's one of the best things about this laptop so this keyboard is full as you can see you got your numbers over here to the right you got your numbers up here it's a full keyboard it feels very good to type on it's not too loud typical uh keyboard noise right you hear that it's also backlit um it's a single zone keyboard so you can't do the three different colors you can't do red green and blue it's just one color across the whole keyboard but you can go into the my asus app which is a definite you must have that app with this machine because it has so many different things you can do i'm going to show you guys right now i'm going to go down and show you guys how the app looks but you can change the colors it's like five colors it's like greens a few um it's like a blue just like a pink it's like it's, it's some it's some a few colors so if you want to change the the color from white to, to red or pink or blue you can do that with the keyboard this touchpad, man, is very good as well, man. This thing is very responsive. It feels very good. It's very quiet. Nice key, nice uh, touchpad. I, I give them, as far as the keyboard and touchpad, I give them a 10. Very good. So if you're into typing, you want a nice keyboard, this is definitely a nice, nice keyboard, okay? Uh, we'll go into the audio. That's one of my cons, actually, but I'm going to go into the audio. It says Harmon, Har Harmon Cardon. You know, they, they, they make very nice uh, speakers and stuff that I've heard in the past, but for whatever reason, don't expect too much out of laptop speakers, especially Windows laptop speakers. I mean, it's typical, typical laptop speakers. It's OK. Not the greatest. It's OK. Um, what else is there? So this is rocking um, Wi-Fi 6E. So if you have a Wi-Fi 6 router in your house, this thing has an Intel Wi-Fi 6E um wi-fi adapter in it very you get some very good speeds over wi-fi with this machine as well so it has some nice some nice specs in the system battery is like um 96 watts um pretty good battery i, I like the battery i think the battery lasts very well and i'm i'm always rocking the um screen at all the way screen brightness and using backlit keys if i dim the screen and i turn off the backlit keys i'm pretty sure i could get a lot more life out of the battery but you can also go into that my Asus, my Asus app and you can change some battery care settings in there to, to prolong your battery life. It's pretty cool. It's a must have that my Asus app, guys. Must have with this machine. All right. This thing weighs about, um, let me see. I forgot what the weight was. It's like about four pounds. So it's not too heavy. Uh, me personally, I wouldn't really use this to go to a Starbucks. It's a little too big for that. I would want something a little smaller. But hey, if this is all you have, take it with you. Uh, this is more of a move around the house laptop, take it on a long vacation trip laptop for me. Okay. But that's pretty much um, pretty much it. I don't want to hold you guys too long. I do want to talk uh, very briefly. I said 10 minutes and we're at 13. So I'm not, I, I definitely um, didn't meet the timing. But let me talk about some of the things that I don't like about this laptop. And let me show you, of course, you know, I don't really go into uh, flip mode, but of course you can go into tablet flip mode, you know, and, and, and uh, use it as a tablet if you want to do that. You see all those fingerprints everywhere? It's insane, right? Insane how much fingerprints are on here. But yeah, it's very responsive. This is, you know, this is kind of, this size 15.6, it's a tablet mode. It's a little too big. It's kind of uncomfortable, man, honestly, for me. If you're going to set it down and use it to draw, and write then cool but like holding this thing to just watch movies is kind of uncomfortable in my opinion a little too big that's not really a con that's me nitpicking but i just wanted to share that with you guys all right 
you can see me you can see me briefly right there right all right so let me, let me go over some more things i don't like the sound quality coming out that 3.5 uh, headphone jack is terrible guys i don't know if you got this laptop if you have this laptop and you've got the sound sound good please share those settings with me i went through all the audio settings and i cannot get the sound it sounds hollow it doesn't matter if i use if i'm using earbuds it doesn't matter if i'm using over the ear headphones it just sounds very bad so if you're an audio guy like me excuse me and you make you make um you make music you use dolls to make audio production please get yourself an external sound card do not rely on the sound built into the system it does not sound good at all okay now if you connect this thing with bluetooth headphones it sounds perfectly fine but i'm talking about when you're wired in to that 3.5 jack sounds terrible all right that's number one for me one of the biggest cons the webcam quality that's not really a con because most you know laptop webcams are terrible so that's not, i'm uh, i'm throwing it in there but that's not really a con number two okay number two big issue with this laptop is the power button location it's in the front it's just a weird location when you grab this laptop nine times out of ten you're going to put it in sleep mode or shut it down it's going to happen. So you got to kind of remember that the power button's in the front. They could have put the power button in the back here or put it up here on the keyboard somewhere. I don't know why they decided to put the power button in the front. It's a weird location. So that's number two, what I don't like about it. Number three, this is kind of a nitpick, but why would they say I have to make sure I hold it so I don't uh, power it down? Why would uh, a micro SD? I mean, come on, man. You know, I mean, I'm, I, I, that's kind of a nitpick, but could you you could have given us a, a full SD slot. You know, you could have given us a full SD slot and you could have gave us another port. You know, you give us one USB 3.1 and then you give us two USB-C 2. You should have gave us two of the uh, 3.1s or even another USB-C. But I know that sounds like I'm nitpicking, but that's number three. Uh, what else is there? That's pretty much it, man. Honestly, that's pretty much it, man. I'm at 16 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and go 20. So that's that's me nitpicking the few very few things that I don't like about this system. It's a really a good laptop, man. If you're in the market for a laptop, I highly rec recommend getting this. Would I pay the over a grand that they want for this? No, but I did see this on Best Buy's site for like $6.99 or $5.99 last week. It was on sale. I think I did. At that price, definitely go for it. And let me close out by saying this. When you, when you buy an Asus or an Acer laptop, they make good machines, but you gotta baby them. And what I mean by that is they're not as uh they're not as durable. It's adorable. I'm tired. They're not as um long last long lasting as a HP, a Dell, or a Lenovo. Baby these Asus machines. And what I mean by that is if you're using this as a desktop, get yourself a laptop fan. Keep a laptop fan underneath this thing. Keep it cool as possible. Make sure that motherboard is cool. You don't want to run hot on these Asus and these Acer laptops. Also, another baby tip to do for these laptops is always, if you're going to use a USB-C hub with this, make sure you have a power delivery USB-C hub. Do not just run a regular hub without being powered. You're going to burn out the USB-C port. Trust me. And the same with the USB, regular USB-C. Always use powered hubs on these machines, especially if you're using it as a desktop where it's always on. Make sure those hubs are powered. All right. These Asus and Acer machines, they give you all the bells and whistles to get you to buy their products. But if you don't baby them, they will not last long at all. All right. But that's pretty much it, guys, man. I mean, I know I'm missing some things, but I'm almost at 20 minutes. If you got any comments, please share them with me about this and I'll get back to you uh, as soon as I can. Um, also, click that like button, man. Hit that subscribe. I'm almost at 500 subscribers, man. I'm trying to get to 500. It's just hard for me to pump out this content with a, with a, with a four-year-old running around all the time. It's hard for me to get content out to you guys. But I appreciate you guys that watch and i appreciate you guys that subscribe man and this is charlie eugene signing out all right if i can do it you can do it too peace